the thing about these conferences that made me want to keep coming back is when when you have a busy schedule, uh, all of the stuff that they have available for you uh, and uh, gives you an opportunity to see a lot uh, in one week. It's, it's really overwhelming. Absolutely, uh, several things and you, you really find more to do than you can do so you really have to decide what you're going to prioritize because if you if you don't uh, leave here with multiple things to do, then you're not working, looking hard enough. Um, it's kind of a couple of things. Uh, one, a little bit around lean accounting and, and seeing that's kind of our next thing we want to dig a little bit deeper into. Um, the second one is uh, finding ways to get people more engaged. I'm, I'm uh, head of human resources for the company. So, uh, you know, we've done a lot on the, sh on the shop floor, uh, trying to get more of a uh, lean involved in some of our back office processes, HR, purchasing, uh, sales, that type of thing. As we recognize, we're kind of at the tip of the iceberg. The, I think the, the most exciting thing about lean and about these conferences is the possibilities of uh, what we can do. We, we recognize that the, uh, the competitive playing field is a world one now, and so uh, the, the competition and our ability to keep our costs down in a market where we can't control the price is I think where lean is gonna benefit us. And then the second major area is for most businesses, the, uh, there are no secrets. Uh, a lot of companies that compete with each other use the same equipment, they use the same uh, processes. Uh, one of the things I think that's exciting about Lean, it's, a, it's about people and developing people and that we think uh, we can have a competitive advantage using Lean to develop our people to be problem solvers.